The New York City Marathon is coming up this weekend. Jennifer Johnson is live in our lot with a local woman who is getting to the finish line in a really unique way. And now you're trying hand cycling. Hey, Jen. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. the only thing is to realize this isn't the easiest if you're doing uh, one hand. But look, we have our sales department out here from 13 We Have not only cheering us on and Deb on, but Alex, raise your hand. Alex here in our sales department at 13 Wham. Deb is her mom, and while Deb does the hand cycle, Alex is going to be running 26.2 miles in, no? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to catch her. Oh, you're gonna try to catch her 26.2 miles on Sunday, so good luck with that. And thanks for introducing me to your mom. This is awesome. I've had a lot of fun. I'm gonna go over to uh, Kelly and Sarah. Kelly's actually done the, the race a year ago um, and works at Heritage Christian. And from what I understand, here, I'm going to get off to bring you guys. This is how you break. I'm learning a lot this morning. Uh, you were the first person when she said, you know what, can I hand cycle your race? You said, why not? Yes, I remember when uh, Deb first called. Uh, she said, I'm, I'm using a hand cycle. Is it all right if I compete in your race, the Heritage Christian uh, Hero 5K and Milestone and Roll? And I said, absolutely, everyone should be racing. So. Uh, we actually decided to have a separate hand cycle division and a separate wheelchair division and running divisions and walking divisions. And so the, the race is just inclusive of everybody's race style. So, so yeah. And so the secret is, is that not only she's doing this for her own sense of accomplishment, but you're going to raise some money for Heritage Christian Services, which must mean a lot to you guys. It really does. Um, and especially the uniqueness of a hand cycle people don't know much about it we're hoping that she raises we have enough money raised so we can purchase one and have on site at one of our at one of our sites um, and have it available for people to use for the race in 2017 ah! so. well a lot of people might be saying this is really cool I want to try it I'm thinking of my mother-in-law out there right now so uh, Sarah is a Nazareth College uh, physical um, therapist student right now and if I were to start this I would think all right I need to know what I'm doing you sort of put together a program to help her achieve her goal on Sunday. What did that include? So we, when she first decided that she wanted to do this, we were kind of about halfway through our sessions. So um, she brought her bike in so we could kind of get a feel for it. And I guess what we didn't realize, because it's like a non-reciprocating pattern, she goes at the one time. Um, it's a lot of core and back musculature. Yeah, a lot of core. <laughs> Especially going up those hills. Um, so what we tried to do is put together a program that really focused on her core and back musculature because that was an area that she kind of needed to work on, especially for the long duration of the 26.2 miles that uh -huh. she'll be doing. Um, so we kind of worked on that, some resistive exercises with that, as well as working on her cardiovascular endurance, you know, just to be able to um, not die <laughs> after yeah. the race. So. <laughs> That's always a good goal. Yes, it is. <laughs> Are your arms in the best condition ever? They are right now, yeah. Yeah? Yep, thanks, thanks to my Nazareth students. I was asking, too, you know, so many times you sort of reach that age in life when you're like, oh, that's my rotator cuff, and mm -hmm. I know because it's hurting me. You have to be careful, maybe, in doing an exercise like this oh, that you don't over it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, definitely a progression that you have to start off nice and simple and then gradually work up your strength so you don't overdo it, and you make sure to monitor, you know, your technique to make sure you're doing it right. Mm -hmm. All right, so, Deb, the race is Sunday. How long do you think you've been training for this? Oh, since April. Since, since April. Since I got in. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it does have gears. I mean, we, we don't does. necessarily see it, but there are gears. Actually, yes. we can see right here, yes. like, uh, you know, any regular bike, right? Yes. Um, this, this. And so you're definitely going to be using those. Uh, yes, yes. So there's some hills? Well, this th actually, this bike is the bike that I'm taking, and, and this bike actually has mountain gearing, so that'll oh. help me with the hills. That's oh. what that gearing is right oh. now. Okay. Uh, and real quickly, people are seeing this and going, I want to try it. Where can they get one? Monroe Wheelchair. Um, it's actually made by, this, these particular bikes are made by Invacare. So you can go to the Invacare website okay. or Monroe Wheelchair. Oh, yeah. I see it right there. Invacare. So Invacare normally makes um, wheelchairs and medical devices, but they, they've also gotten into the hand cycles. And these are recreational hand cycles. Uh -huh. There will be racing hand cycles at the at the uh, New York City Marathon, and they're the low ones. Oh.
okay, yeah, I've seen yeah. those. Yeah, 27 she'll be wearing years. black and yellow and black and yes. yellow. So if you're yes. watching TV, look for her black and yellow. Cheer, I'm sure she'll hear you from Rochester. And, and crowd rise. We're halfway to our $2,000 goal. To buy one of these. Yes. For Heritage Christian for Heritage Services. Christian. Well, good luck. Thanks. Thanks for Thanks. telling me all about this. I'll be sure. thinking of you on Sunday for sure, and Alex sure. as well. Norma, looks like fun, doesn't it? It does. It really does. So unique. More than one way to get to that finish line, uh, and more than a few people being helped out by her efforts. Thanks so much.